Hey, it's Christina with Tina Girl Travels. We are here in beautiful Grand Bend, which is on Lake Huron in southern Ontario. And this is my husband Keith, and this is where he grew up. And it's a fantastic place. So we're gonna check out the beach first, and then I'm gonna take you into the town and show you all the little shops and things like that. There are lots of places where you can access the beach. Today, we're heading to Grand Bend South Beach. The beach area itself is a little more secluded and away from the crowds. The unique thing about swimming in the Great Lakes is that you feel like you're in the ocean because you can't see land. As far as the eye can see, all you can see is water. And the water is clear and not salty. And there are no sharks and no stingy things to step on. The water is warm and inviting, and at this part of the beach, you can walk quite a long ways in. Before we head over to check out the shops, the main beach, and the cabins, we're going to get some fish and chips at Purdy's at the Bend. This place came highly recommended by my sister-in-law, so we're going to check it out. There's plenty of parking here, and you just go around back to order your fish and chips. As you can see, there's covered seating by the water, as well as washrooms in the next building, right over there. The fish and chips are delicious, and the portions are huge. They're known for their perch and chips, as well as their coconut shrimp, which we'll have to try next time. This is such a pretty place to hang out, right by the channel overlooking all these beautiful homes. Let's have a look on Google Maps at the area. This is the area we're in called Grand Bend South Beach. You'll take River Road off of Ontario Street South to access the main beach. You'll cross over the channel and turn onto Main Street West, where you'll find the main Grand Bend Beach area and lots of vacation rentals in, the, in this area over here, as well as in this area over here. Let's scroll out and have a look at where Grand Bend is located in a bigger map. So over here you see Toronto, London, Ontario, Detroit, Michigan, and Sarnia. Now we'll take a drive down Main Street West towards Lake Huron and have a look at the shops and restaurants along the way. So lots of people ask which is better to visit, Grand Bend or Port Stanley, which is located on Lake Erie. I have a video coming up featuring Port Stanley as well, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you won't miss out on seeing that when it's posted. I found Grand Bend to be more of a beachy town. The strip feels a little older and a little more vintage with some classic food stops that have been around for a long time. There are some really fun shops to look in. I ended up buying a few things like a bathing suit cover up for really cheap. And Keith bought a really nice t-shirt that he would probably wear every single day if I let him. So you'll find every single thing you'd ever need for a day here. If you forget your floaty at home or your bathing suit or your towel, no problem. There are plenty of stores to choose from. And when you get hungry, don't worry, Grand Bend has you covered. There are lots of one-of-a-kind restaurants, and of course, there's always a Dairy Queen. If you get bored, you can even go for a tattoo or a piercing to commemorate your visit. Coming up, that's Archie's, where Keith bought his t-shirt. They have all sorts of cool surfer-themed clothing and actually really good quality stuff. So as we get to the end of Main Street West, we'll be at the beach. There is paid parking here on both sides of the roundabout, as well as on the street. So if you're planning to stay for the day, one of the lots is probably a better choice. We're just gonna turn around here in the roundabout, and as we do, you can see the concession there on the beach and the other parking lot coming up. We're gonna find a parking spot on the street so I can show you inside a couple of shops on the way to the beach. So street parking runs all the way along Main Street on both sides. It's $2 an hour with a two hour maximum. So if you're planning a longer visit, park in one of the lots that I showed you earlier. Okay, we're heading down towards the beach, but first we're just gonna pop into the stores for just a second on the way down. I always like looking in and just seeing what they're selling. 
I might need to buy something. This store was really cute. Okay, this Hobo Pies is supposedly kind of famous, so you have to stop there. Okay, we're at the beach now. So let's go have a looky-loo at the beach. So it's open from 6 a.m. till 11 p.m. And this structure here, you can actually climb those stairs and there's like an area up top that you can overlook the beach. There is the playground area for the kids. And here is one of the parking lots available. So this is the view actually from up top on that structure. So as you can see, you can see the bandstand, you can see the whole beach area, the volleyball players. The blue strip there just makes it easier if you're bringing a wheelchair or a stroller down to the beach area. And it's kind of a nice area to hang out and sit and watch the water. It's free to go up there. The beach is so beautiful and there are lifeguards available on the beach as you can see. It's quite a windy day, but it's not too bad. The water was actually so beautiful. So you can bring your blanket and your lunch and whatever. People have their umbrellas or their little shade shelters there. And such a nice area. And we were there in the middle of summer, so not too bad. There's still lots of room on the beach. So earlier in the video, when you saw us at the beach, we were straight through past that tree there in that direction beautiful playground this is from a different angle you can see all the fun toys that the kids can play with you can see the parking and the roundabout so there is a concession so you can buy pop and things like that from vending machines or you can head over to the concession I actually found the concession to be very reasonable. $10.50 for a cheeseburger, fries and a drink, $4.25 for a burger, amazing. So they accept debit or cash. Here's a better look at that map that they've laid down for you if you're bringing a stroller or a wheelchair or maybe one of those wagons that you load all your stuff in. And one last look at the beach before we head over and look at the vacation rentals renting a cabin in Grand Bend is a great way to vacation. In fact, it's something my husband grew up doing every summer as a kid. Being able to run out your front door and be at the beach in a few steps is just a dreamy vacation. And if you're able to bring your bikes, do it. The area is flat and easy to ride around and there's lots of places to ride. And I didn't see any bike rental shops anywhere. The cabins are so unique. And when I checked into pricing, they seem to run anywhere from 200 a night and up. And that's not too bad as I saw some houses that sleep up to 14 people. You can check out some rental sites like Airbnb or canadastays.com. And I found another one too called cottagesincanada.com. And I'll list a few of them below in my description. So not all of these cottages are vacation rentals, but many of them are. I hope you've enjoyed my video on Grand Bend, Ontario, Canada. Thank you so much for watching Tina Girl Travels. Please subscribe to my channel. Subscriptions are always free. It just ensures you're the first to know when I upload a new video. My next video will be on Port Stanley, Ontario, and I will see you there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo, woo, woo.